uh, the most common reason for most women would be simply aging. As uh, a woman ages and the laxity of her skin uh, diminishes and gravity continues to act on the soft tissue, the nipple or real complex might no longer be in the ideal position of a youthful breast up on the chest. And so the nipple or real can simply be repositioned by uh, rearranging the soft tissue and uh, elevating it and a woman's breast can actually look more youthful just from that simple procedure alone. It's pretty uncommon for a woman to choose to do that alone. Sometimes the uh, breast tissue itself may need to be elevated and repositioned and that would be more of a mastopexy, an entire breast lift. Sometimes uh, the breast tissue atrophies as a woman ages as well as a result of decreased uh, hormonal stimulation of the breast tissue and a simple augmentation might be necessary in addition to the repositioning or instead of the repositioning of the nipple areola. And in that case, fat can be harvested from a different portion of the body and repositioned into the breast tissue itself to provide a minimal augmentation and more upper pole fullness in the breast tissue so it looks more youthful or a simple implant could be also uh, uh, administered and placed within the tissue at the same time as the repositioning nipple areola. Another common reason for needing some sort of nipple areola reconstruction could be as a result of breast cancer where the nipple areola complex has been removed as a result of a woman's choice to try to remove every potential risk for uh, developing breast cancer or maybe the nipple areola was involved in the breast cancer itself and so it needs to be removed to treat the disease. In that instance then the options are to use a woman's own tissue and rearrange that to develop and make uh, a nipple and to transfer tissue from another part of the body to make an areola. However, uh, often women will choose to do what's called tattooing, 3D tattooing these days because they're very, very uh, aesthetically pleasing and they look very natural. Of course, there is no uh, sensation and no topographical difference. So uh, if a woman wanted to uh, have that, then it would require constructing the nipple from the remaining tissue. Uh, the operation itself for a simple nipple or re uh, repositioning can be anywhere from uh, 45 minutes to uh, an hour and a half if both sides are being treated simultaneously. A breast lift where the tissue is also being rearranged as well as the nipple areola complex can be uh, about three hours. If uh, some sort of augmentation is uh, added to this procedure including uh, an implant or fat tissue transfer then that's another hour probably. So the operation can be anywhere from an hour to three I would say in most women. Recovery is dependent on which of those choices uh, are made and um, the difficulties uh, associated with the patient's underlying comorbid disease processes. In other words, a person who's younger and healthier and doesn't have diabetes or doesn't uh, uh, have a soft tissue or autoimmune disease that might uh, slow down the healing process uh, could recover a little faster. So if a breast lift alone is done and repositioning of the tissue of the nipple areola or the uh, breast itself, the recovery time is probably two to three weeks at most. Uh, if an implant is placed or fat is transferred, then that recovery time is extended a little bit longer, four weeks at least. And uh, in some situations, uh, the patient may have to have modified activity for up to six weeks, uh, particularly with fat transfer. If uh, it's a reconstructive patient, and this is an isolated procedure done after the first stage of the breast reconstruction, then the operation itself is an hour or an hour and a half, and the recovery time is minimal, uh, a week to two weeks just for uh, uh, the reconstruction and soft tissue rearrangement. If it's a 3D tattoo procedure, you know, that recovery time is very fast, about a week, and there's not much downtime at all. If this procedure, if the construction of the nipple little complex is done at the same time as the more extensive breast reconstruction with reconstructing the entire breast, then the recovery time will be more dependent on what it is for that reconstruction, which is four to six weeks.